What's up guys, Clintus here, and I wanna to talk to you about my new favorite game, Escape from Tarkov. Now, this game is not fully released yet. It is in a closed beta, which you get access to by pre-ordering the game. Um, it is only available on PC, and it is only available from escapefromtarkov.com. Now, I wanna give a shout out to Battlestate Games for hooking me up with a copy of the game uh, to try out, to stream, and of course, to share here with you on YouTube. Um, so thank you very much, but, that is where that stops, guys, because I want to tell you right now, I've been playing this game for a little over two weeks, and I am in love with this game. I am addicted to this game. I pretty much stopped playing almost every other game on my streams for this game because I love it that much. In fact, I even paid the additional $30 to upgrade to the highest pre-order package, the limited edition uh, Edge of Darkness. Uh, it gives you additional bonus stuff like a bigger stash and a bigger secure container, more loot, um, and I don't know, some other stuff. But I love it that much that I actually paid the additional money to upgrade um, to the highest package because I absolutely love it. So I kind of want to give you a quick rundown because I'm going to be playing this game a lot on stream, twitch.tv slash I stream Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, nights and weekends when I can. Um, so it'd be awesome if you guys can go uh, come over there and hang out with me and watch me play live. But I'm going to start um, also doing stream highlights and either tutorials or just like whatever else I feel like making. But it's, a lot of it's going to be from this game. So I figured I'd give you guys a, a quick breakdown of what the game is about, um, how to play it, how it works, because there is a lot of questions because there's no like how to guys. There's no tutorials. You literally jump into the game and you just have to figure it out. Um, I think maybe when the game actually releases, they'll have some tutorials maybe some side missions i don't know but as of right now you literally have to figure it out yourself um thankfully i've been watching a lot of streamers and had a lot of people that have come over from the the uh the tarkov community in my chat to help me out and slowly figure it out um so this is the main screen as it says right there attention this is the beta version of escape from tarkov for testing purposes um the the premise of the game it is a ultra realistic first person looter shooter MMO. I know it's a mouthful. There's a lot going on there, but the thing, the key thing to, to point out, it is ultra realistic, and you'll see how, see why here in a moment. The biggest thing you have to remember about this game is whatever gear you bring in with you, if you die, you lose it. It is a permadeath situation. There are no respawns, and you don't get all your equipment back um, unless you insure it. And there's all these different like, you know, what ifs, what ifs. Um, so here you go. This is the character screen. So this is my stash. This is all of my loot. Um, this is my character. And as you can see, it's completely customizable. Earpieces, headwear, face cover, body armor, eyewear, two different weapons, a pistol and a knife, or in this case, a hatchet. Um, you have a tactical rig, which is where you like you have all your mags and your grenades and your bullets and that sort of thing. Um, you have your pockets, right? Quick access to things. You've got a backpack, which comes in different sizes. And then you have your secure container, um, which is very important. This is the one place if you put anything in this container, if you die, it doesn't go away. So this is where you put your money, your maps, your keys, anything super, super valuable that you don't want to lose. Um, and because I upgraded to the Edge of Darkness, I have the biggest possible one, which is a 3x3 container. Uh, lower uh, packages get smaller containers. So that was one of the things that was worth it for me. Um, so this is my stash. This is another thing that I got upgraded by getting the most expensive package is you get a bigger stash. Um, so as you can see here, we've got all kinds of stuff in here. We've got guns, knives, bullets, dog tags, my money, painkillers, knives, magazines, uh, lots of magazines. We've got bottles of water because you need to hydrate. Your, your character will get dehydrated if you run a lot. Uh, we've got a bunch of guns. We've got backpacks, rigs. You name it, it's all in here. Um, and this is this is your stash. So this is a lot of inventory management when you when you get uh, get loot from your runs. As you see here, I've kind of got some some loot. Like I got some bleach I gotta sell. Um, I got some dog tags I gotta sell. I'll probably sell this gun. Um, I got some trash here that I'm kind of like saving for uh, tasks because there are tasks and like missions that you can run. So this is kind of where you go and you like build your character, right? So like for example, I want to take this. I don't, I don't want to take this SKS in, right? So I'm gonna take it off. And let's say I want to take in like, oh, I'll take this uh, this AKS in. Bam. I drop that on there. That's what I'm bringing in. I'm going to need some magazines. So we come over here and we go, oh, yeah, we're going to need some magazines. Oh, but wait a minute. What ammo do I have in here? I don't know. Let's unload it. Oh, I'm using the PS ammo. Okay, well, let's see here. I actually want to use the T ammo. So you drop that in the mag, right? Then you go and you take, you can unload your weapon. And you can put that, that mag right in. 
like I said, ultra realistic. You gotta put the bullets in the mag, you gotta put the mag in the gun. It's like a two-step process. It's crazy. You can alternate the bullets. There's 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 armor piercing rounds and there's hollow points and there's oh dude, it's just there's actually a lot, a lot to the game. Um it's crazy. So that's the character screen. Um you have your health, as you can see here, your guy is completely like you can get harmed in your legs, your arms, your stomach, your chest, your head. And if you lose one of your limbs, it it like deters you from what you can do in the game. You can't run, you walk slower, um, you're panting, your bl vision gets blurred, like it's it's nuts, right? And there's all kinds of different kind of medicines and medications you can take to help alleviate some of that stuff uh, in game. You have skills, like I said, it is an MMO. You have skills that you um, learn and level up by doing activities in the game. By just running, you are increasing your endurance. By jumping and throwing grenades, you're increasing your strength. By um, taking, like um, uh, eating and drinking, food and drinks while you're on the run increases your metabolism and then as you level up it gives you be better uh, benefits of that sort of thing so these are all the different uh, skills that you have to learn and stuff that you can master um, there is a map tab but the only way you have a map is if you actually purchase a map so this looks like this is custom so this is the this is the map that I have in my pouch at the moment so this is one of the maps no waypoints no this is what it looks like in the game when you're actually in a match there's no waypoint you just kind of have to learn the map and have it memorized just like in real life um, so like this is one of the spawn points and this is one of the extraction points, right? So you have to like go from here to here and you have to know the way, right? And then lastly, you have tasks. Like I said, I have three different tasks. I have active at the moment. It tells you what you do and if you click on it, it tells you what the rewards are. Um, actually, it tells you the rewards on the, um, on the actual trading screen, which is where we're going to go next. So you're probably wondering, well, how, what happens if I lose my gear? You said I lose my gear if I die. How do I get more gear? Well, you have money you can purchase them from one of these dealers. Um, each dealer specializes in certain things. Um, they take different kinds of money. So like these guys take rubles, this guy takes US dollars um, and that sort of thing. Um, so basically what you do is you click on one of the, one of the traders, you see their, their loot, their vent, what they're selling and has all a bunch of different prices. And it also tells you how many of that item they have. They can sell out. Once they sell out or once their um, inventory refreshes, Prices can change, inventory can change, and as you level them up, you get access to different kinds of stuff, more advanced stuff, right? So like, for example, right now, Purpore, I'm level two, which gave me like access to these guns down here. Once I hit level three, there'll be more guns and more items that I can purchase. I can also sell items. So for example, I go back to the therapist here, right? She specializes in medications and, and water and food and that sort of thing. Also, this is who you wanna sell your junk to, right? So for example, uh, this bleach, I'm going to sell that bleach. I'm also going to sell these dog tags. And these dog tags are dropped when you actually kill a player in the game. It is a PvP game. PvP. When you kill somebody, they drop a dog tag. I killed these, these guys here. Um, they're worth 10, 11,000 ruples each. Now, the higher rank the player, the more money the dog tags are worth. Right? Makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this for 24,000 ruples. And there you go. I just earned some money on, on off of that off that kill. So that's where you kind of you can buy and sell goods. Now, like I said before, again, ultra realistic. If you come in here and you look at the the, the vendors got here, look at this. He's selling barrels for shotguns, right? We go back to I don't know. Let's see. Here, let's go peacekeeper, right? He's selling attachments for weapons. Like look at this, guides, rails, b uh, uh, tubes. Like, uh, there's, there's um, what do you call it, sights. You need railings for the sights. They have different stocks. Like, you can t completely customize your weapon to your liking. Uh, obviously, the more customization, the more expensive it gets. So you're definitely going to need money. So what happens if you run out of gear and you run out of money, right? How does that work? Well, every 30 minutes, you can do what's called a scav run. Now, on this screen here, you have two different options. You have scavs on the left. You have PMC on the right. Now, PMC, that's my character. That is the guy that I just had outfitted. Like you see there, there's the AK that I put on. There's the helmet, there's the vest, the backpack you can't kind of see, but that's my character. That is where you're gonna go in with your gear. And if you get out, you get to keep that gear. Uh, anything you do with that character, you are leveling up. Your endurance, your strength, your metabolism, like I said, right? But like I said, if you die, you lose all that gear. On the left is what is the scab. And this is a computer generated or game generated character. It's different every 30 minutes. Um, you can run this, you will get the loot that he has. So right now it looks like he has um, a pistol, 
and maybe a scav vest, and that's it. Sometimes you can go in there with a helmet, sometimes you can go in there with a vest, armor, sometimes you can go in there with like a nice SMG or an assault rifle, and that's free loot. They generate it, they give it to you. Now, if you can escape with it, you get to keep it. Any other loot you find in that match, and you get out, you get to keep. So it's a way for you to earn free loot. The catch is you can only run it every 30 minutes. Now, when you are playing your character on PMC and you're in a map, these scavs, both player and uh, AI, computer generated, will spawn in every five to 10 minutes. So while you're running around, there are anywhere from uh, five to say 10 players, real life players like myself in the match. But then there's also computer generated scavs and or player scavs that spawn in in different intervals as well. So there's always a little bit of a challenge. Um, the good news is, is that each map only has a certain number of people that can spawn in. So this one, for example, has six to 12. This one here has four to six, six to 12, eight to 13, right? There's different, there's different ones. Um, and once they're all dead, I'm pretty sure no more PMCs will spawn in. That, that raid goes in, whoever's there, if they're dead, they're out. If they extracted, they're out. And that brings me to my last step. How do you get out and how do you get to keep the loot that you found? You have to extract. Um, let me see here. If I go to PMC and I have that customs map, like I said, you get to pick your time slot. There's the map. Now, this is before you load in. Like I said, once you're in the map, once you're in the match, there are no spawn points, there's no markers. But while you're spawning in, you can get to choose which side of the map you spawn on, right? So this is the custom side. As you can see here, there are green markers that tell you where the extraction points are. Now, there are four different extract possible extraction points on this map on this side of the spawn. The question marks mean that it may be available or it might not be. As you can see, they're closer to me where I spawn, but they may not be available. Sometimes they're, sometimes they're timed, sometimes they're like limited use, like only one person can go in at a time. Worst case scenario, this right here is where I gotta get out, ZB1011. That's always available. So that's the one you want to memorize. Okay, if I choose boiler tanks, as you can see, it flips the map and now I have to get over here to get out. Okay. The other thing that you can do is you can do what's called an offline run, an offline raid. And what this does me is, is it's offline. You can go into your character. If I have this box unchecked, there will be no enemies at all. You can literally run around the map for the entire duration of the raid and explore, learn the map learn where loot spawns, learn where uh, weapon cases spawn, learn where the extractions are, right? So you can really learn the map before you go in with any risk of losing your gear. I encourage new players to do this. Do it with no enemies, no PV at all. Just go in, learn the map and extract. Figure out where the extraction points are, figure out different routes to get to the extractions because you're not gonna know exactly where you spawn. Your spawn point is gonna be different each time you spawn in. You'll get used to saying, okay, there's only like four possible spawns. I know where they all go but you need to know which direction you need to run in and how to get there. I highly encourage you to do that. Once you have the map memorized, know you can extract, then check this box and have scav spawn in so you have someone to shoot. Learn how to well use weapons. Every gun's different. If they don't have any mods, the recoil might be crazy, right? Um, some are full autos, some are semi-automatic, some are bolt action. Learn the weapons. Kill a few computer-generated scavs. Again, no risk of losing anything. And then once you're really solid and you're ready to go in there, uncheck that box there and you'll go into a live match. The last step is if you want to insure any of your gear, as you can see here, I insured my helmet, my, my uh, vest. If you're dead and your body is not looted, no one takes this gear. This guy right here, Prapor, will go get your gear for you. However, if someone kills you and takes this gear and says, oh, I like your vest, I'm gonna keep it, and puts it in their backpack, you do not get it back. So it's kind of a, another risk, but again, can be rewarded because this vest goes for say, I don't know, 20,000 ruples. It only insures for like 1,200 ruples. So it's very, very valuable to insure your gear. It's just a risk that you may not get that money back and you might lose more. And the last step here is the, uh, is the, is the lobby. So this is all the different players that are in the lobby queuing up on this map at this time, at this spawn. Um, you can possibly join a group. It says right here, looking for a group. But if I'm ready to go in, I hit click ready and you queue into the, into the next raid. So uh, I know that's a lot of information. This game is huge. It is, there's a lot to it. Like I guess I've been playing a little over two weeks now. But I want to do a quick rundown on the game because you can expect a lot more videos in the near future of me playing this game, whether it be stream highlights, just awesome kills, moments, funny moments, crazy moments, that kind of thing, just stream highlights, as well as just like, hey guys, here's something new on Tarkov that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm really going to start focusing on this game because I am seriously in love with this game. 
Um, so let me know in the comments down below. Are you playing this game? Are you interested in it? What questions you have? I will do my best to answer the questions down below. And then, like I said, be on the lookout for future videos from Escape from Tarkov here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <sighs>